Um, can I be a butt for Halloween? <laughs> All right, guys, check it out. I'm in Canton over here on Whipple, and I've been wanting to come over here and film all the Halloween stuff at the party place, but I wanted to make sure they had everything set up because sometimes they have different things. <laughs> Look at this. They have this enormous pumpkin set up here, this inflatable pumpkin. It's so big, I can't even get it in the picture. I gotta feel this thing. Man, all right, look how huge that is. Holy crap, let's go out to the street and see if we can get a good picture. Yeah, look how huge this thing is, guys. I have my lens pulled out as far as it'll go. This thing has to be, oh my God, it's gotta be 20, 25 feet tall. That is one huge pumpkin. And there's the, uh, the party place in the background. All right, let's go on up here, take a walk through the store and uh, see what all they have in here. They usually have awesome stuff in here for Halloween and they have it in here all year round actually, but of course they bring out more Halloween-y type stuff at this time of year. Pretty soon they will be putting out all kinds of pumpkins that you can pick up and take home and carve uh, out here in the front. At least that's what they usually do. So let's head in through the giant pumpkin doors. Look at this, guys. This is so awesome. I love this place. Look at the things hanging from the ceilings up here. Oh my god, they have so many cool things. All right, let's just start over here. I think a lot of these are animatronics. We're gonna see if we can get them to work, though. Hold on. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this hunchback. That is too funny. Three-headed dog. That is too funny, that hunchback. Look at the witch here. I think she's animatronic, but nothing's. Must not be turned on. There's the cord in the back. All right, let's see, we got this guy. Apparently you reach in there to get candy and it's motion activated, I would guess. I don't know what he does. It would be cool if they were, these were turned on. Oh, look at this one. This witch, let's see if we can do it. I think she rips her head off, watch this. I hear the gears moving. For some reason she's not working, but she lifts her head up off her body. I remember that from last year. None of these are plugged in. That's that's really weird. Hey, look, Jason Voorhees. That's pretty cool. Maybe they are. I, th I was thinking they were all uh, animatronics, but I guess not. What's this? Bat bones. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Yeah, look at all this stuff, man. They got tons of stuff in here. All right, this looks like all pretty much, here's a couple of costumes, mostly uh, Halloween party supplies and stuff right here. I got a lot of things here. Now, oh my God, look at these ones in the middle. <laughs> oh my God. Now up there is a whole second floor with costumes and stuff. We'll go up there in a minute. But I just want to poke around here a little bit and see some of this stuff. This is cool. Jason Voorhees uh, goblets. Let's see. Yeah, this is all like window clings and some more of those guys up there. Look at these. <laughs> the butler. And I don't know what you'd call the grandma, but she's a, some kind of a grandma butler. That's, those have got to be some of the ugliest things I've ever seen. Please do not touch. Oh look, we got a head in the uh, in the bucket here. Happy hunting. <laughs> and look, we got a whole uh, bones band back here. Let's see if we can get a better picture of that. Oh my God, it's the whole thing up front too. The guitar players. 
I don't know what this guy must be the singer, but his mic is up there. Another guitar player. Drums. And this guy's playing like a marimba back here. <laughs> That's too funny. These are cool. They're like uh, candy holders. To me, that looks like a giant bowl of cereal, like fruity tricks. Yum. Not very Halloween-y, but they're still cool. All right, a blood bag. <laughs> That's like a body bag. Look at that. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Candelabras. Ghostly groups. That's kind of cool. Black cats down here. Look at this. That's some kind of a alien in an electric chair or something. Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this one. That reminds me of Fright Night. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, look, we got, like, the delicatessen stuff here. Hands, a nose, fingers, eyeballs, creepy cuts, a foot. Here's a foot wrapped up. Heart, brain, that's a very small brain. <laughs> okay, look at this, we got heads here. Feet on chains. Huh. A leg. <laughs> that was too funny. Okay, let's see. We got the cauldrons of all sizes. Big ones here. Wait a minute, look at this. Stuck in the upside down. Oh, this is all Stranger Things stuff. Like if you were going to have a Stranger Things party. That's pretty cool. Photo props. Oh, the banner. What is this? A sign. I don't get what that is, but this is a whole big wall thing. That's pretty cool. Stranger Things plates. Napkins. Oh, look, they even got <laughs> the, uh, the table covers. Dang, you could have a whole party. And look at this. Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, candy holders. That's pretty awesome. I love Freddy. All right, let's keep on moving down this way. Look at these little novelty things, little pumpkins, squishy pumpkins. Look, squishy eyes. Walking guys, walking zombies. I guess you wind him up and he walks. That would be cool to just set up, like, all of those. The whole box, wind them all up and set them up so they were all coming at you in one big horde. <laughs> oh, look at this. Spin the jack-o'-lantern and win a prize. And it lands on three, and I guess whatever you've predetermined the prize to be for number three, that's what you win. <laughs> potato sacks for potato sack races. That's funny, I have actual burlap sacks I bought a while back for that, and we never used them. Mega bag of eyeballs. <laughs> okay, this guy looks really familiar. Do you guys remember seeing this blow-up skeleton in a movie? Because that looks really, really familiar, but I can't place it right offhand. Look at the big I Love 80s sign up here. That's pretty cool. That's like a backdrop for a party. All right, let's see. Oh, look. These are those eyeballs that you, you squish down and you set them on the ground. And then after a couple minutes, they pop up, like when that little uh, suction cup lets loose. That's cool. A whole bunch of those for six bucks. And look at this. Uh, skulls that you take the top off, you could serve like a dessert in those. <laughs> I love Halloween, man. There's so many cool things you can do at Halloween. What the? Look at this enormous 
bag of vampire teeth. <laughs> that is crazy. On all these are like, uh, whoops, all these are party favors. If you were having a party with little kids. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen these things for years. They used to give these away at this carnival at an elementary school. You know, you win tickets and uh, and you go trade them in. Look at this, a bag of night crawlers. <laughs> oh my God, they got everything here. Skeletons, spiders, colored spiders. Oh, those are rings too. God, tons of little... Uh, party supplies and gifts and stuff. You could have games and give away this stuff. Colored teeth. What do you call this thing? A uh, pinata. Those are pretty cool. Man, I wish I was a little kid having a Halloween party again. All right, let's go see what's over here. What the? <laughs> Look at this. It is a skeleton mermaid. Oh my God. They just got so much stuff in here. Look at this, a big plush. Oh, you can like, you can move his hands around and stuff. There's a wire in there. You can uh, pose him, Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington. That's pretty cool. Look at this one. <laughs> That's pretty spooky. Oh, Darth Vader porch light cover. That's really cool. But where's the other eye? Strange. Look at this, we got uh, animated cannibal clown. That's actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm not a big clown person, but it's definitely spooky. And this is like from the first It, the Pennywise. Hanging Pennywise. That's pretty cool. And look at this, we got Spider-Man and Superman. There's some more Freddies. Oh, look here. What the heck is this? Lawn Gnome. A Freddy Lawn Gnome. That is pretty amazing. New Line Productions. That's pretty cool. Not the best looking Freddy thing, but I mean, it's it's pretty good looking for a lawn gnome. Trick or treat bags. Here's these hanging things up here. I think I showed you these when we first walked in, but I don't remember. Look at this giant one right here. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. That's only 70 bucks too. That's actually not a bad price for something like that. All right, let's keep moving here. We've already been down there. Let's see, oh, look at this. The, the um, bride and groom. <laughs> A silver skeleton. What the heck? And here's other life-size skeletons here. Metallic, look at this one. Oh my God, it has a wolf head. <laughs> they got so much crap in here, oh my God. Look at all this over here. Bag of bones on the bottom. Dino bones up here. Jurassic Park bones. <laughs> Bat bones. I think we saw one of those hanging up somewhere. We got another uh, candy bowl here. It's the Grim Reaper. Oh, and then Taz. I don't think I've ever seen a Taz one before. We got a zombie leash. Chains that goes around your neck in the event you are a zombie. <laughs> More skeleton guys, look at this pig. That is pretty creepy. Here we go, here's the Jason bowl. I don't think we've seen that anywhere yet, but that's pretty cool too. And look guys, we got a whole wall of different kinds of inflatables here. And they always have a whole bunch of them here that you can't find anywhere else. Look at this, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 inflatable car nine feet long stay puffed eight feet tall animated spider clowns dragons ghosts this baby with a ginormous head <laughs> all kinds of stuff in here look pennywise inflatable that is pretty awesome i'm not into the uh the ouija boards but i mean they do look cool for halloween stuff I almost missed this. Look at this. This is cool. Oh my god, he scared the living crap out of me. I am so on edge in this place, man. <laughs> I cannot 
believe he just scared the living crap out of me. I did not expect him to come out of there like that. I was gonna say you could actually build a little booth like this. You know, if you had a life-size clown or whatever, because that's pretty cool. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> I love that thing. That's probably my favorite thing in here, especially because it scared the crap out of me. All right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Up here is where they have all the costumes and stuff. Okay, here we go. Yeah, look, you can see the whole rest of the store from up here. It's totally awesome. There's all the Halloween stuff down there that we were just looking at. But this place up here is a whole enormous uh, costume shop. <laughs> look, this is a costume, guys. You put this on and your face is in there. And then it looks like he's carrying you around in a cage. Look at this creepy thing, man. It is crazy. Oh, look at that one behind it. That reminds me of Poltergeist. I mean, that giant, like, white thing that was guarding the door. Okay, let's see what we got up here. I immediately see, well, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is everywhere. Here's Pennywise. That's a pretty cool mask. That's a really good mask. Look, they have the Tim Curry Pennywise mask, too. That's a really good one, too. Look at that hair. Holy crap, that's a good mask. All right, we got the superhero stuff over here. All kinds of masks up here. And this stuff is here year-round. I mean, they never take this stuff down. This is always a costume shop upstairs here. Boas. The one year I bought some of these and, uh, and dressed my son up like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> All kinds of different glasses. Oh my god, look at these. Do you guys remember the movie Mannequin? That guy who wore all those weird glasses like that? I can't think of what his name was, but fake blood. Yeah, this aisle down here. All these, uh, these wigs and all kinds of stuff, man. I mean, this place is just, if you can't find what you want in here, then good luck. Oh my god, a giant baby diaper. <laughs> fake puff cigarettes that's weird okay more sunglasses and look at this that's like an 80s slash 90s design right there that's pretty cool tie-dye look at the webs on these that's cool now we got MC Hammer pants <laughs> Captain Caveman Club that's pretty funny of course nobody nowadays knows who Captain Caveman is but you could be the Geico caveman. Um, can I be a butt for Halloween? <laughs> oh look, there's like a billion different kinds of hats over here. Mariachi, or whatever you call it. That's probably the farthest thing from what that actually is. <laughs> this reminds me of when we used to go to Chi Chi's. And uh, you'd go there and have your birthday. They'd bring out a big hat like that and put it on your head. Sing happy birthday to you. Warrior Dash. Oh look, speaking of that uh, that Chi Chi's thing, yeah, they would bring this whole thing out and put it on you. I mean, it was the real deal, of course, in there. But yeah, I remember doing that. I probably have a picture somewhere of myself with that stuff on. Man, they got a ton of costumes in here. Like I said, if you can't find what you want in this place, then good luck because they've got everything. Giant <laughs> wrench. <laughs> oh my god. The kind of stuff you find in these stores. Like, what would you be dressed up as to have a giant wrench? A plumber? A plumber with a crack showing? What in the world? E oh, okay. A clown knife. Machete, whatever you call it. Nightmare on Elm Street glove. That's a pretty good looking glove. 40 bucks, that's really not a bad price either. Okay, look at this shirt. This reminds me <laughs> of uh, Sleepaway Camp. Now, okay, it's from Stranger Things. But yeah, just seeing that reminds me of the movie Sleepaway Camp. 
If you guys have not seen it, watch it. It's a really, really cheesy old uh, horror movie. But the ending is just so crazy, you're not gonna believe it. <laughs> I'm passing up all the good ones. But what the? <laughs> the finger. Look, here's a bunny suit from Christmas Story. Gumby, that might be one of my favorite ones in here. A Kylo Ren helmet. That's actually a pretty good looking helmet too. Oh, look at this. A whole Optimus Prime costume. That is pretty cool. It's only 50 bucks. That is pretty sweet. That's an awesome price. And look at this pink gorilla. <laughs> god. Oh my god, a pregnant nun. What the heck? Thank you, Father. What in the world? Look at this. They have the chick versions of uh, Freddy and Jason. That's weird, but... Oh, and of course they do have some of the inflatable ones. It's more Jurassic Park. I told you it's everywhere. Inflatable big bodies, whatever you call them. Okay, this is just weird. This is a dude's uh, outfit, but what kind of guy is going to dress up like that? That is so stupid. Beetlejuice. There's a Freddy that's not too horribly bad. Alright guys, I think we've seen just about everything. I mean, there's aisles and aisles of costumes up there. There's no way to show you every single one. Look at the body in a spider web up there. But, that's a good look at this store. They got all kinds of awesome stuff. Including that guy right there that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys later. If you live in the area or if you're ever in this area, come on down. It's Party Place on Whipple. See you later. Peace.